Right. But you've got to be... But you are a bit you've ruthless. You were a bit score. ruthless to me when I was playing in the under-18s. <laughs> you, you said if you want... you held the, He held the boots up. He said, if you want these boots, you're going to have to run faster. Or it was back in the day when you were allowed to be mean. But uh, look what it did to you. <laughs> Graham Bloxham for Wellington Live and Wellington in your pocket. I've come back out to my hometown of Upper Hutt and I'm sitting with our Mayor Wayne Guppy. Good to see you, Wayne. Good to see you. Or can we have a... Of course yeah, we can. Yeah. It's Upper Hutt. We yeah. can shake hands here. Indeed. Quick, quick fire quiz for our Wellington Live followers. Um, what was the house price increase? Well, Upper Hutt got the most gains in the country. What, what percentage? Just short of 40%. How, I mean, how do we... Isn't that expensive? Too expensive to live here? Yeah, but look... In reality, it was a bit of a catch-up. Mm. Um, we've had, we did, you know, if you go back into the 90s and early 2000s, there was a bit of a lag mm. and, and a catch-up. And of course, there's been a lot of investment in the city. Mm. Uh, and I'm talking, you know, we're talking billions of dollars from film studios to obviously Brewtown to mm. um, MSD, big investment, and obviously down further down some of the work that's being done at Sawstream and. Uh, of course, with, with Willis and Bond at, at the Wallace Full Estate. Blue Mountains. Big yeah. stuff. Yeah. And with that comes confidence, mm. and with that other investors look mm. to, to, to move into town. And with that, the population's grown. Mm. So there's a requirement for mm. yeah. you. You've been mayor here for how long? This will be my 21st year. Isn't it time to move on? No, not at all. You, you're, uh, you reckon you've got a mandate? You reckon you're gonna, you, you've got the passion to, to get... Uh, uh, haven't you been here as long as Shadbolt? Has well, been in Invercargill? He's been three years longer than me. Has he? Tim has. Sir Tim yeah. has, yeah. yeah. No, no, there's, there's um, you know, there's, I'm more enthusiastic about my role here now than when I was first elected. Right, yeah. Why is that? Because there's so much happening, and you, when you've been part of that, yeah. when you've been part of that encouragement, when you've been part of getting deals across the line, you want to make sure that uh, they're finished. Mm. Surely there's some young people that you want on your team or something. Absolutely, are... and there will be, and there are going to be some of the... Uh, uh, and I've got, I've had, look, I, as mayor of the city, have been fortunate. I've had some, have had real good people. You got, it's a team. It's not the, the mayor can't do it on his own. Mm. And and if you don't create that atmosphere, mm. if you don't create an atmosphere for teamwork, mm. if you uh, don't let people f be part of a team, mm. then you're going to have problems. Mm. And look, whilst I don't like criticising other councils, you can look around the country. And in fact, not too far from here into the city, where they've had problems over a number of years because that team environment hasn't been created. Settle down, Wayne. Settle down. The city's going quite well. As a matter of fact, what, what are the rates, what was the rates increases in Upper Hutt? Just under 6%. So two under Wellington. Yeah, but Do you we, think you can get those rates under control? Yeah, well, we have to. But I mean, yeah. our, from the point of view, for us, we had one real big investment that we needed to do, and that was obviously the, the upgrade of H2O Extreme. Yep. 25 years, it's old, it's tired, it's costing money. We didn't do that. Mm. Then we'd be patching things up on a monthly, you know, six monthly basis, and very soon you just chew into the millions. So take the advice, we're doing it. Um, you yeah, know, look, we need the city to do well. Mm. Everyone in the Wellington region, every city in the Wellington region needs the city to hum. Mm. And anyone that tells you they don't, mm. is, is it doesn't understand the dynamics of Wellington. Wayne, you're going to um, be a, 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 a person that understands the region and understands Upper Hutt and knows all the other mayors. You're a senior mayor. Uh, do you see an amal amalgamation of the councils as being a wise thing to do? I don't, th look, the, the conversation has to be had. Mm. Government's going through major reform, putting local government through major reforms. You've got the three waters, you've got uh, RMA reform, you've got the future of local government. Mm. From a, the Wellington point of view, that discussion will take place and has to take place. Because the, the discussion's already taken place well, and it, everyone agreed that they should do it. There's two councils, there's three or four councils over in Wairapa. It has to come together. Do you want it to come together? Uh, look, it's inevitable. Yeah. It is inevitable. Are you going to Are you going to drive that and make well, that I mean, happen? No, the, your... those, the, the conversation will be on the table for everyone mm. uh, within a year mm. when the local government, the future of local government comes forward because mm. they'll have a lot of... I suspect in there will come what is the role for local government. They'll take things away. They may add things. But with that, the structure will be looked at across mm. the country. Mm. What's Upper Hutt's brand? Is it, I mean, when, it, when I grew up, it was a sleepy hollow. It was a, it was a bit of a yeah. shithole. And um, I love it. I come home and I feel, I feel at home here. Um, there's some, some, been some great things happening with Brewtown. What is Upper Hutt's brand? Well, look, 
there's, there's been a, a, a shift and a change, but actually the reality of it is we are still a family orientated city. Mm. Generally speaking, if you look at the developments that have taken place, mm. we the, the attraction is generally, you know, mum, dad, or, or partners and children, mm. and and that's not that's something that I'm proud of. Mm. It's something that we we shouldn't shy away from. Mm. I mean, if you want if you want the action living in in, 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 in high rise departments and you know in the city, then the city's a place for young people. Mm. You know, they're, they're, we're having variety of, of housing now, mm. which gives people options. Mm. But generally speaking, our role in the region is the is the is, is the family. Mm. And if you look around, it's relatively flat. And the opportunities, schooling's good. It doesn't matter where you live in Upper Hutt. Mm. You know, there's not uh, suburbs that are highly inflated prices simply because the school's better there than it is down the road. Mm. Um, and and there are a lot of things for, for mums, dads, and partners to do with their children. So mm. that's our role, as, as if you like, in the housing. And everything flows off from that. Mm. What's your... Um What's your take on the fact that people think that the this whole racing thing's a bit of a scam? It's a, it's a, it's a, um, you know, how, how can the racing course be sold for housing and, and and supermarkets and things like that? Isn't it a isn't it a treasure that just sits there empty and, It'll be and a does big, nothing? Be a bigger treasure. Yeah. And yeah. and the, the development that's proposed down there at the Wellington Racing Club, uh, and as I said, will be will future proof the track. Mm. It'll future proof the club. Mm. And, and you know, well, the, the racing club here and the Trentham track will remain one New Zealand's premier track. So there are a number of, 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 of grunty developers yeah. that are willing to take a risk. And I think a lot of people look at it and they look at the names of Gillies being kicked around and, 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 and what they probably don't appreciate is the risk that those people take. Absolutely. They just go, look, he's been given these opportunities. Um, Willis Bond, those McGuinnesses, they've been given the opportunities. But they have to take great risk, don't they? And they have to pay their rates. Yeah, and look, the, the, we council's role in, in, you know, when developers have got confidence in coming into a city or being part of the programme that you're offering and being part of the city, I've always said that council's role is actually to create an environment where those feel, people feel comfortable about getting involved. Mm. No surprise policy. Mm. Let them know up front. And, mm. and, and there are things that can be done that councils can do, but certainly what's important is you create an environment where those developers feel comfortable mm. and confident mm. that the game's not going to change on them. Mm. And that they, they, that, that, and they, of course, look, all of them, doesn't matter who, when you're talking about successful developers and investors, they cut the risks out. Mm. And, and if, if council, uh, if, if council's unstable or if council does you know does u-turns on them mm. then they go look this is too hard for mm. me we're not coming here we'll go somewhere else so upper hut's a good place to do business well look around i can tell you there's uh the, the confidence there and and look you feed off that yeah. and whilst that environment's been been um uh, created you've got to look around at some of those major projects and like i said there's you know there's there's billions of dollars being invested just at the moment. Look, just from here, we can see out the back window, they're just the uh, Lane Street Studios, film studios. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're another uh, a big investment, and that gives confidence to, to others. I tell you what, I'm going to put Mayor Guppy under pressure here. Um, Wellington in Your Pocket allows us to string together events and places, so it could be a walk, a restaurant, whatever, into an experience in minutes. What would your experience be in, in Upper Hutt? Well, there's plenty to do. And uh, look, yeah, you could go on the River Tucker Trail on, on bike ride, yep. which is from here all the way through. Particularly if you don't want to do that, you could either walk or cycle down the uh, Hutt River, down yep. Te Awa Karangi. I mean, magic. And, and it's used hugely, particularly on the weekends and good days, you go for that. And look, and then eventually you'd head yourself back for a nice meal and, and enjoy a drink or two at Brewtown. Oh, so you'd, you'd, do, you'd get a bit of exercise in a cycle? Total. Maybe down the river, which is just a stunning river, and then head over to Brewtown for dinner. So exercise, dinner, and Brewtown with the family. And you would not feel guilty about doing it. Excellent. Well, that was Graham Bloxham for Wellington Live and Wellington in Your Pocket, and thank you for that run-through. Spectacular things going out here in Upper Hutt.